Well, hello, Sagittarius. It is CJ here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you've been here before and are part of our beautiful soul family, I love and adore you. I hope you're doing well. So, Saggy, I'm actually not going to be putting on a date on um, this reading. I've really been guided by my guides to not necessarily um, really kind of attach any kind of date to it, at least for right now. Um, I am doing this reading on, what day is it? It's the... 18th of May. Um, so it may be something that pertains to you today, tomorrow, a week from now. Um, I think we're just going to keep it simple like this because I don't know. It's just been lately. I've really been getting the the energy that spirit is kind of like showing me a chalkboard and that I don't know if you guys remember. Depends on what age you were. Um, back in my time when I went to school, we had green chalkboard and we had the chalk brushes. Um, and that's what I was seeing is that wiping away the time. So I'm going to always, uh, um, always follow my, uh, my guides, um, guidance. So what that means is whenever you come to this reading, Saggy, there may be a, me a message for you in it, if I may be able to speak clearly today. Um, okay, so Sag, now that that's taken care of, it's a general reading. So as you know, that means don't try to fit it, don't try to make it yours. If it's yours, you're going to know. Trust your intuition. Trust the feeling you're getting when you're listening to this reading. Now, the one thing I want to talk to you before we get into the actual tarot. When I was meditating on your energy, Sag, um, it was very interesting. I kind of was just getting this very serene feeling. And then my guide showed me a bicycle in my mind's eye. Now, um, it's spring in the Northern Hemisphere. So obviously a bicycle could mean that you are out riding a bike, right? Pretty obvious. But it felt more deeper than that. It felt two things. So I want to talk to you about that first because it's obviously going to be relevant for someone out there. Um, so the bicycle, I feel, is representing, you know, that old saying of, you know, it's like riding a bicycle. Once you learn how to ride it, you never forget. So something to do with this stability, um, with this energy of you might have, you might be in a position right now. And I don't, again, because it's general, it can refer to any area of your life, right? Um, the energy still applies. I was getting this feeling of like, whatever this may be, it's almost like maybe you haven't ridden the bicycle, if you just take that loosely, in a long time, but you still have the talents, you still have the ability to get on a bike and ride it. The next energy I was picking up from Spirit was that the bike is representing forward movement. Um, really starting to get some kind of expansion, get some kind of... Um, yeah, like you're just kind of starting to move forward in a good positive way. Could also be representing some kind of cycle too. Because if you think about the, the wheel on the bike, you know, it spins like a cycle. It reminds me of a cycle, hence why it's called bicycle. Bike, bicycle. <laughs> Bicycle. Listen, Mercury retrograde is going full force forward. For me, I feel like I am in the thick of it. Let me know if you are feeling that same way. Even my daughter has said that she's still stumbling with her words. I mean, it has been one kind of crazy thing. Anyways, I'm going to keep going. Um, you know that I have a pretty goofy um, energy. So if I spell say something wrong, take it with a grain of salt, right? Like life's too short to be that serious. All right, so I don't know what that meant. Um, let me know. Maybe you're out riding a bike. Maybe you're purchasing a bike. Maybe you're learning how to ride a bike for the first time. It felt very positive. And even the cards that were showing up, um, you know, we had the Fool show up. We had Take a Leap of Faith showed up. Um, we had Your Energy, the Queen of Wands. It all felt like there was some kind of renewal happening. So um, we're going to get into this reading. So Sag, last thing, if you want a private reading for myself, all that information is down below. Uh, reach out and we'll organize something. And finally, thank you for all of your support. All right, Sag, without further ado, let's get into your reading. All right, Spirit, please show me clearly for Sagittarius, for those beautiful Sagittarius's that this reading is meant for. What do you have for them um, for whatever day they come to it? Please show me as clearly as possible. Okay. Bottom of the deck, Sag, we got chop wood, number 42. So this is a six. That's interesting because we did have, when I, I, I don't know what deck spirit is going to guide me to. Usually, even when I'm uh, meditating and prepping the decks, when I was doing my animal oracle, the divine animal oracle, um, I had this feeling of equal, the card equality came out, which was seahorse. 
So there might be something here about some kind of balance coming into your life. Because 42 being a six is about that equal exchange. Um, doesn't necessarily mean it has to do with anyone else. Um, it could be just you being really good to yourself. You know, um, all that good energy that you put out into the world, Sag, you also giving that back to yourself. We'll see. But chop wood is that energy of when you're waiting for something to shift, when you're waiting for something to come in, if we can kind of redirect our thinking, usually what we're trying to bring towards us will come in faster, right? So chop wood is all about that. It is about doing the little, you know, boring stuff that we have to do every day, but also that speeds up what we're waiting for. Um, cleaning your house, you know, doing gardening, literally chopping wood. Someone might be chopping wood as I am speaking at this moment. Anything that will redirect your focus um, and take away the pressure from what you are trying to manifest here. It's followed by peace. Now that's 23, which is a five. So this is all about a change, a change coming in, I feel. Um, peace is a beautiful card of obviously finding that um, serenity kind of feeling within your life. Um, it is a beautiful egg though that's sitting on this card. Not all of these cards have an egg. And you know, as I always say, eggs for myself as a channeler really, really represent um, new birth, rebirth, uh, a new beginning in some area, a lot of abundance, a lot of blessings. It's really spiritual, um, spiritual kind of energy that makes, that reminds me of that we're never alone, that we always have our guides, our spirit angels, our loved ones, our ancestors, God, source, whatever you believe, we're never truly alone, Sag. We always have them beside us. Whether we believe it or we don't, um, it is true. So there's this feeling of some kind of peace coming towards you. Look at this, it's even followed by happy, happy, I love this. So this is 26, it is now, that's an eight. It feels like whatever this is, is definitely about your life, your life cycle that you're on, something positive is coming your way, Sag. She's sitting on top of an egg, again, um, and there's rainbows and magic, and she looks very, very happy. So, um, we're going to get into this, I want to see what card is going to come out, but it does feel like some kind of new beginning, and if it's not a new beginning, it feels like there's a new way of doing things, whether that's about your career, beautiful soul, or about your love life, or just about your general, your general world, right? And I do want to say, for those of you that are in retirement um, stage, these readings are for you too. Um, I would say that these readings are probably not for anyone under like 18 or something because it's more, the, this, the energy spirit gives me is a little bit more of a mature energy. Um, but even saying that, yes, it doesn't matter if you're 20 or you're 80, these readings, if they make sense to you, if you get that niggle that, that this sounds like your journey, your story, then it is your reading. It is, it is meant for you. Um, again, it doesn't matter if you, wh what stage of life you're at, what you're doing in your life. Um, it is from spirit coming through to me, coming to you. If it resonates, then it's yours. Okay, so before we get in, of course, I need my water. So I'm going to drink some water, Saggy. All right, beautiful, blessed water. Let's see what spirit has for you. All right, Spirit, please show me clearly what message do you have for Sag? My beautiful soul family. What's going on for those that this reading is meant for? What would you like them to know? What can you guide them on? I'm kind of feeling that this reading would be for tomorrow, Sag, but again, um, that could just be me being human, right? Just me picking up that human feeling, knowing that tomorrow is Friday um, or is the 19th. Show me clearly, please, for Sagittarius. What card? Okay. We have Yang. I feel like you guys didn't have this that long ago. Um, and then we have the question why. I feel like you guys just have that again, too. Interesting. And then we have truth be told. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to take all of this. Oh, you want me to take this, too. Wow, that's four cards. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So let's start off with Yang, and then we're going to get into what was on the bottom of the deck. So Saji, yang is the, you know, it's the masculine of yin and yang. So this is the energy of taking action. Now it is number one um, in this deck specifically. That it gives me the magician vibes, right? The, the magician energy of having all that you need 
to create this path um, clear on your way forth. Again, I'm not sure yet. They're not giving it to me on any specific message. Other than you have the power within your hands, you have the power within you, your beautiful essence, Sagittarius, can create the world, the life that you're wanting, right? Um, powerful energy of magic, fire. Look at, the, look at the color here. It's like there is flames in the hands, but it is also adorned. The hands are adorned by the stars. So it feels like if there's some area in your life where you know you're needing to make um, a decision where you're needing to make a choice, where you're needing to put some action in, um, it does feel that the time is now, is what I'm getting, okay? Now, the bottom of the deck, we do have the question, why? I'm pretty sure you guys had this either this week or last week. It's number 31. So add that up. As you know, Saggy, I'm all about the numbers, right? Um, I bought my own way with spirit of what it means to me. Um, so 31 is a four. That is to me all about stability, about finding stable ground, creating stable ground so that as you grow in a relationship or grow in a career or grow in retirement, um, however it may be for you, that your foundation is solid. And in order to have that solid foundation, we definitely have to have some action taking place. The question why is that important reminder that if we don't know what our why is, like why are you doing this, and you go, I don't know, then really whatever you're trying to achieve, is it's going to take a lot longer to achieve. When we know our why, um, it is much quicker than that things will manifest for us. Thoughts become things. So for example, if you are single, and I'm giving this as an example, so you know, it may not be, it might not apply to anyone out there. But if you're single and you're ready for love, right? Say you're like, I, I'm, I have, I'm good with me. I'm in love with myself. I have this <clears throat> happy life. I would like to share it with someone. This would be, then the question why would be like, okay, that's the question. Why would I want to have someone in my life? Because maybe I want to share all this joy with. I want to have someone that um, we can be a team together. When you know those reasons, Trust me, the universe then brings it to you more quicker. And that can apply for jobs and all of that kind of stuff. So again, I'm not going to spend much time on this. I know we had this not that long ago. So you finding out your real reason of what your motivation is, right? It is followed by truth be told. Number 14, that is a five. Again, all about this change. Being really honest with yourself. Being really able to speak your truth to you. Now look, this could be applying to others too in your life, but at this moment, because I'm not in the tarot, they're not giving it to me. It is really about opening yourself up to really speak your truth, see the truth, know the truth, because even there's a mask underneath here. Gorgeous little owl, all about wisdom. There's beautiful hearts all the way around, really kind of feeling this love energy coming through. There's a window open, but it is standing on a mask, which could be, in, um, could be that there might be someone around you that is wearing a false mask and sag, you could even be telling yourself something that's not true. We all do it at times in our life, right? Sometimes we have to, um, even without knowing, not that we have to, but even without knowing, sometimes we even lie to ourselves because we're unable to see the truth, depending on what the circumstance is. So we're going to have to see what's going to come out of the tarot. But finally, they got in me to take fork in the road. This kind of makes sense to me because it almost feels like there's action to take, but you need to know why this action is that you're going to be taking and to be really honest with yourself but there is a fork in the road that you're needing to make a choice. And we did open up one off camera, obviously. I did have the Two of Swords. That was one of the first cards that I seen um, when I was shuffling in my Light Series deck, which is a decision over head or heart, right? So fork in the road is just that. There, you're coming to a place where there is a decision to be made that you can no longer stand in the same spot energetically wise anymore. There's a need for some kind of change. Um, you might even be getting things coming towards you. If this is about jobs, maybe um, career or something, it could even be you're getting options and you're not sure which one to take. So again, if that is if that's relating to you, Sag, again, it is about you knowing your why, the the why of every decision you're making. Um, okay, so that is a number. Th that's thirteen. So it's a number four as well. Two cards of four, thirty one and thirteen could be very important for someone out there. So let's get into the reading, see what this is about. 
Okay, bottom of the deck, we have Six of Cups. I want to take a look and see what this is about. So Six of Cups, it's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It is our water. It is about our emotions, our relationships, the ones that we have now, the ones that we had in our past. Um, especially the Six of Cups, this is about the past. It's nostalgia card. Um, you know, instantly I'm getting this feeling that some... Okay, someone... Okay, well... Um, Sag, someone could be coming back from your past. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a friend that you've maybe lost touch with. Um, it could be, well, it could be anyone, right? Um, I'll leave it to you to figure that out. But they're giving me this energy of someone might be coming back um, at full force. Or perhaps you are reaching out to someone from your past that you've lost um, connection with. Now, that's not going to be for everyone. But the Six of Cups is absolutely the energy that you may be looking back on something from your past and either trying to, to um, recreate it or you have fond memories of it. Hmm. We're going to have to see what comes out. But it's followed by the Knight of Swords so even, and then the Ace of Wands. Even these two cards, it almost feels like, like they want me to put it this way, which is very interesting. Knight of, Knight of Swords, that's air, right? So it's our communication, our logic. It is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, it's almost like the Knight of Swords, Spirit got me to put it like this, almost like the Knight of Swords is running back to something in the past. Wow, okay. So even career-wise, maybe you're going to go back career-wise, hobby-wise. Um, just like I said, something that you used to love to do, maybe you're going to start doing that again. Maybe some of you guys are <coughs> going to start doing some kind of entrepreneurship that are related to something that you used to do in the past that brought you a lot of joy, especially because we have the Ace of Wands after that. And Wands is your energy, Sag. It's also Aries and Leo. It is about that fire, that creativity, um, the passion, the entrepreneurship as well. And it is all about action, which is what Yang is about. Okay. And then we have the Ten of Cups. So yeah, for some of you, this could be truly about some um, someone that was in your life in the past, it doesn't have to be that long ago. It could even be two months ago, for goodness sake, um, because we're all on such different long timelines. Could be going back to someone that you had a relationship with, you know, um, that was maybe really good, but for some some reason something happened. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. All right, spirit, show me clearly for Saggy. All right, hold on, Saggy. I got a hair. Gosh, okay, <laughs> had a hair loose there. All right. I hope you're doing great, Saggy, um, and that things are going well for you. Show me clearly, please, beautiful spirit, for Sag. Ooh, okay, we've got strength that just popped out. Leo's card, number eight. Number eight, what was number eight here? Didn't we have an eight? Or was that on the bottom of the deck? I'm channeling, so as you know, my logic is in the back of my mind. Um, thought we had a number eight, but okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. Strength. Um, yeah, you know, this is that energy of Leo, of, you know, standing strong and being determined. Um, things that happen in our lives in order for us to move forward, we do have to be strong. We have to be very, um, um, convicted, con con no, what's the word, spirit? Um, oh, it just left me. Sorry, Sag, I'm just trying to get it back and I can't hear what they're saying. In order for us to move forward, to, to, to make new moves, to take new chances, um, to change our path, we have to have that ability to not allow fear to get in our way. So that goes along with strength, right? Because we've got to be courageous and we've got to be strong enough to take, to take the action that is needed. Um, it's all over this reading right now. I still don't know exactly what this is about. Could be just general in the way of they want you to take the energy if it is your reading um, and, you know, get the energy that Spirit is giving you. But we have the Eight of Wands now on the bottom. So this is fast moving energy. Something coming in really fast. Someone coming in really fast. You going after something very focused. For some of you, this could even be deciding to move. It's really strange because, like, move. And when I say move, I'm getting this feeling of overseas. Very strange, like this is a strange energy. Um, let's see what's underneath. Seven of Pentacles. Definitely contemplating. Contemplating, do I stay here? 
or do I make a choice or make a decision to go in a different way? Yeah, okay, let's continue. So we have the strength card. Oh my God, and then the justice card flips out. Two major arcanas. This is really powerful because, you know, when major arcanas come out for myself, it usually means pretty big life-changing um, occurrences that are coming, right? This isn't just the day-to-day -day stuff. Sad, whatever this may be, I feel like you've been thinking about it for quite a while. So justice, we have Libra's card coming out. Um, being, again, you know, the swords for me are also about the truth, right? The sword of truth that is balanced here, balancing the scales. Speaking your truth about, again, the tr truth be told, right? Of what it is you're wanting, what it is you're needing, what it is that you really desire to have in your life. Um, and being brave enough to go after it. You know, Justice card is number 11 too, which is all about, you know, the reminder that your spiritual guides, your angels, they're around you, supporting you, um, wanting you to expand and grow. Um, and then look at, we do have the two of wands on the bottom. So it's like, oh, two of wands, two of pentacles. We'll talk about this in a second. Definitely something that you're hemming and hawing about. Indecision here, really contemplating which way to go. I can feel this kind of apprehension coming through this reading. But Spirit is wanting you to trust your beautiful intuition. You know, that, that inner guidance system that you have, Sag, that when you really tap into it and allow yourself to hear the truth, to feel the truth, it guides you on the path that you're meant to be on. Okay, because the Two of Pentacles is juggling, again, um, not really sure what which way to pick. Two of Wands, again, your energy, um, really unsure of what way you're going to go, what decision you're going to make. But again, in this deck specifically, there is the world here representing, you know, a changing of a cycle. For some of you, again, representing moving. Okay, I got to leave it like that. And then we have the Knight of Cups, and it's followed by the Knight of Wands. Interesting. Two twos, and then two knights. Some of you, this is definitely about love, because the Knight of Cups is like, you know, very romantic, very vulnerable, very loving, um, usually pursues that of which he or she wants, loves, um, with full truth, you know. And then you have the Knight of Wands, which is your energy, which is, I'm going to do what I need to do, what I want to do, actually. And I'm going to do it freely without the constraints of anyone or anything else around it. She's there by herself. The only thing that's in the background is a beautiful horse, right? So it feels like they are saying, follow what you love. However, this may be um, resonating with you. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> Justice though showing up is letting you know that whatever choice you're going to be making here or whatever truth that needs to be seen, spoken, um, it will come into alignment, you know? They're giving me the word, again, equality. So, hmm, show me more, please. What else do you have for Sag? For those that this reading is meant for spirit, what else can you show me that you'd like them to know this one? Queen of Wands, baby, beautiful. Queen of Wands, your energy. Powerful, powerful um, vibration coming through on this reading. It's like having the strength, again, okay, so Sag, as I said, I'm not going to give you complete specifics of like, this is absolutely about a career move or this is absolutely about love. It's going to be different for everyone. So, but what the main message is, is take action on what is true to you, whether that be in love, whether that be in career, whether that be, you know, um, going back to school, changing a job, moving across the world, the country. Whatever it is, speaking your truth to bring in the magic into your life. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know, creating that magic, feeling joy, feeling passionate, knowing that you may, you're you making the right choice and it's going to make you feel really, really great. Really great. She is loved by many. And again, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, right? We all have masculine and feminine in us. Powerful person here. This is a powerful energy to be in and I do feel it is you. And it's interesting because it is coming out underneath truth be told. 
So we got yang, which is action, followed by strength underneath. Having the strength to follow your dreams, desires, wishes, wants, whatever it is, and taking the action on it. Knowing why you're doing it and your reason for it, for you, brings you the balance. You know, the scales balancing out. And something beautiful along with that. Speaking your truth and allowing yourself to see the truth brings you this feel, brings you to a feeling of I can create whatever it is that I want. And that is the true set. You can create whatever you want. Our words are very powerful. What we think, what we say, what we repeat, very, very powerful. And, you know, um, for anyone that doesn't believe that the power of manifestation doesn't happen, give it a try. Try it for five days. And that means every time you have, start to have a negative thought, every time you start to doubt something, try to be strong enough to correct that and say, no, everything is working out for me. This is going to be fine. And distract yourself. Remember, we had that chop wood. Maybe that was the one that was number eight. I can't remember. I don't have these memorized. Um, and distract yourself and give yourself that challenge. Test it. Test test it to see how, what happens. Because if you feel shitty and your life is shitty, i got to say you're probably thinking shitty, you know? And this is just, this is about us all coming together to try and get our vibration so high that we all can be happy and really be joyful and, and live more of the finer stuff in life, right? Instead of being bogged down in the shadows and in the murky waters. So give it a try. See how it changes. I promise you it will change. You will look back if you give it for two days, five days, whatever it is um, that you feel that you want to challenge yourself with that. Give it a chance. And, and But that means really tuning out the negative, tuning out the worry, tuning out the what ifs, and tuning into the it's great, it's working out for me always. The better it gets, the better it keeps getting. Give it a try. That's what I feel like. There's some message coming through here from Spirit about that. So then we have the Four of Pentacles on the bottom, which is really interesting because it is going to go under the fork in the road. <coughs> this is super interesting because we next have the Queen of Pentacles. Fork in the road, a decision to make, right? And for some of you, this may just be about a mindset, changing your mindset to bring good things back into your life if you've been feeling like things have been off kilter. But we have the Four of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles is our earth. As I always describe, it is about our money. It is about our material things, but it's also about our self-confidence, our self-worth. I mean, there's nothing more valuable than how we feel about ourselves. Truth, right? If you don't feel good about yourself, you're not going to feel good about anything else that's in your life. Otherwise, that's just a facade, right? So true happiness does start with our own self. Um, so the four of pentacles, I'm finding this interesting because, oh, and if you want to know, it's Taurus, um, Capricorn, and Virgo. I'm finding this interesting because it's almost like there's this hesitation to open yourself up to make this choice. Four of pentacles is usually holding back. Um, Ken, if this is about money, it's like I'm holding on to my pennies because I don't have enough, you know, so I'm worried, right? Um, I might pull a clarifier on it, but what I find really interesting because Spirit is guiding me to show you this. Oh, yes. We have the Four of Pentacles, and then right after that, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And look at how the Queen of Pentacles is looking over at the Four of Pentacles. Kind of like, you don't need to hold on so tight. You don't need to hold on tight so tight to your beliefs, to, you know, um, your stances. You know, it's okay to loosen up. It's okay to allow yourself to trust, to trust yourself and to trust the universe that good things can come to you. The Queen of Pentacles is very stable, very secure. Um, obviously, she's got enough wealth that she doesn't really have to worry about that. And I know there's so many of us are, that are struggling every day, you know. This is a tough, tough time. Oh, but we got to kind of just keep believing and keep hoping and keep keeping, keep keeping, keep going. What are they saying? They're saying, I, I'm having a hard time getting it correct. Keep keeping on. Keep keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Something like that. That's what I'm hearing. Um, so I really feel like Spirit is saying, here's the fork in the road. Which way are you going to go? Are you going to be the Four of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles? Because the Four of Pentacles, as I said, it's quite desolate in the background. It looks like, um, you know, sand, deserts. So there, yes, there's a little village there, um, but she's unable to open herself up to it. 
<coughs> whereas the Queen of Pentacles has got Mother Gaia growing out of her um, headdress here. So it does feel like a pretty important choice. They want me to take both. And look at this. It's followed by Taurus, um, the Empress. Beautiful energy of abundance and that, that like all your things that you want in your life coming true. Um, you know, she is very abundant, very loving, very nurturing, and she very much trusts, right? And there again is that world. And it's followed by the Six of Wands, Sash. So, you know, we'll go a little bit further. You want me to take these and, okay, put them over here. Just a little bit separation here. No, this one? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So let's go a little bit further. Beautiful message that Spirit has for whoever this is meant for. Um, really about, just feels like seeing the truth. Oops. Okay. Seeing the truth. Hmm. Show me more, please, Spirit. Can you give me more for Saggy? Choosing... Okay, I think it just gave me more. It's almost like choose. there's a choice to make here. And I know that because we have the two of pentacles and the two of um, wands. And before off camera, I had the two of swords. There's a choice you're needing to make here. Yeah, the three of swords followed by the seven of wands. So there's that energy of... Disappointment, pain, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> pain, hurt, broken hearted, devastated even, Sag. I'm sending you big hugs because I know whatever you've gone through, whenever this card comes out, I always, it, instantly I feel heaviness on my heart. Like I feel this pressure. Um, so there's this energy of you've gone through things, and maybe even as recently as this last week for some of you, and it has really ripped your heart out. And it's been hard and so, so difficult. Um, and you're, there's this energy, and it does feel like you, Sag, so please don't shoot the messenger here. The Seven of Wands really trying to keep yourself protected, really trying to keep yourself in that bubble where, like, um, like I'm, okay, so Sag, they just, I, they just gave me the word oh, avoidance, avoidance. So like you're avoid, avoiding something, avoiding seeing the truth, avoiding, avoiding acknowledging that your heart was broken from in some area. That's what I'm picking up here. And that's why they're giving me this as this choice. We have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom, which is a beautiful new start. You know, could be in your finances, could be in your self-worth, you know, self-confidence. Yes, I mean, it's followed by the Four of Swords as well. Um, this is a beautiful energy of starting over, and this is what the message is. There is this choice. Now, again, it's not going to be for all of you, that's for sure. But there is a choice, that, and that's maybe what the bike was about. The message feels, Saggy, as if it's like, Whatever you've gone through, whatever disappointment you have recently, I want to say recently, although we have the Six of Cups, I want to say recently, whatever this is, um, whatever you've gone through here, um, they really want you to focus on what you've learned and what you can take away from it in whatever positive light you can. I, I know some of you might say, oh, there's nothing positive about it. Uh, well, I know it's a tough one, depending on what has happened. Um, but you got then if you can't take anything positive away, you got to learn to accept it, right? So that you can move forward because this doesn't feel like very healthy energy to stay in. And with the Ace of Pentacles over top of, and there's your card, Saggy. Uh, every time I do a reading that is, well, for you, usually your card shows up. So it is just such confirmation from my guides that this is for someone out there that is a Sagittarius, if not for more of you. Look at how the Four of Swords is there and then the ace of wands is like covering it up like we can get over this we can let go of it we can move forward let's give it a new start you know let's try something new because there is a new offer here for you and it is definitely you know it's designed for you it's destiny for you your angels are there 
trying to support you and help you. They want you to make a choice. Um, I want to go into a different deck just to see if there's any clarifiers that are going to come out. Um, let's do my spirit animal deck. Spirit. Sag, so much love I have for you in my heart. And I understand more than you can even you can even know because I, I've lived a long time. Um, and I've gone through so much in my life. I've moved on and I'm stronger for it. Um, but I understand many different disappointments and hurts and betrayals. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Um, but life is meant to live and I know it's not always easy. We lose people, people transition, people betray us, but we're still meant to continue living here with as much joy and as much magic as we can bring in. Will it ever be the same? No. Especially if we lost someone, if someone's crossed over that was very important to us, right? It's never going to be the same, but you still have to try and find joy. You still have to try and release and live for them in a certain way where and know, know that there is nothing that is separate. It is only an illusion of what we see as human beings here. You know, you've lost a loved one. I've lost loved ones. They're still around me. And guess what? The more that I open myself up to it, the more that I open myself up to trusting and knowing, the more signs they give me to the point where I have had, I've been having a conversation with one of my loved ones that's crossed over and their exact cup that I have, that I received from them moves in my cupboard. It is possible. Now, not everyone's going to believe it, and that's not my business. But the truth is, is that whatever you're going through, please try to believe that there will be a day where you can feel joy again, and you will feel happiness again. Okay? That's really an important... I'm sharing personally, but it is, it, it is because my guides are pushing me, guiding me to share this. Okay. So I don't know again what this is going to be for each of you, but it seems like it's a very strong, strong guided message that they're wanting you to be able to move on from. We even have on the bottom, this, um, the six of swords, moving away from <clears throat> the pain, the disappointment, the hurt, the loss, and, and moving towards the rainbow. Okay. Spirit, is there anything you else have you have for Sag? Is there anything okay? Wow. The hangman and the ten of swords. The ending of this pain. The hang the hangman. Um, I'm not taking reversals today. So the hangman. Um, yeah, powerful. Changing your perspective. I know it's not easy, but it's time to start taking the action and speaking the truth about seeing the truth is what I want to say here. Because even if I look at this, I'll show you this card, this owl, do you see how it's holding a, a completely different universe behind that window, the, the window frames that are open? It's a completely different background than what's here. This is one version. In here is another. So they really want you to be able to try and see that. I, I, uh, I know it's not easy, but days go by faster and faster, and if we don't if we don't try to reprogram or shift our thinking of however this may be applying, um, then we're going to stay in this kind of energy for a lot longer. So the hangman is definitely my guide's way of confirming to me that this is the message for you, that there is a need for you to actually see things from a different perspective. Allow yourself to have a broader perspective even. Um, if you think about a bat too, they're just giving this in my mind's eye. You know, bats only, work, they only fly, come and fly out at night, right? Um, they're sleeping during the day, nocturnal. Look at how their perspective is so different, right? Um, you know, in the day we see all the birds. If we stayed up at night, we probably, and we're outside and you have bats in your area, I know I do, um, bat, you'd see bats flying at night. It's about changing the perspective. Changing, they're trying to say something, changing the narrative is whatever. Change the narrative. If you want to have, you know, stability and happiness and joy in your life and as I said it is followed by the ten of swords on the bottom a tough long journey that has felt extremely extremely difficult 
to get through, but it is now on the verge of being over. This is the end. This is the end of it. I know it's quite grotesque, this um, visual, but it is representing the end of the pain, the end of the struggles, if you so choose, right? Okay, I feel like that's where spirit wants me to leave it. <coughs> Anything else, spirit? No, that's exactly what they where they want me to leave it, Sag. So let's close your reading off for you. This is going to be um, very interesting to see what comes out of Treasures from Takashi. But I do love this. I love it because, again, not everyone's going to take this message very well. And that's okay. I come with love. That is what my job is here, is about love and trying to assist and lift you up like you lift me up. And... Together we can make these beautiful changes. Together we can support one another through the good times and through the tough times, right? But let's be grateful that we're here today. No matter what, is, what, what struggles we have, let's find the little blessings and change our perspective. Okay. Oh, my God. Bottom of the deck, we have choice. Thank you, Spirit. I'm going to read it, Saji, because this is totally in alignment. Stop making decisions from a fear-based childhood. No choice, belief. Childhood realities have taught you a great deal, but it's time to let go and be an empowered adult. And that's really interesting, kind of getting a little goosebumps, because we have the Six of Cups, and that can be attached to our, that is a great card of um, things that, that um, we went through through our childhood as well, right? It doesn't even have to be mean like just the last week or month or whatever. It can be something like, Things that we've carried from our childhood, beliefs that we've carried from our childhood um, that still live within us, even if they are not in alignment with our highest good. Okay, so wow, perfect words here. So it says it's time to take charge of your life and make purposeful choices. Now, as an adult, you never, ever have no choice. Be prepared to look at all options. There are often more choices than you think. Again, they're giving me the vision of the bike, the bicycle. And it was a bicycle. It was, it was like, I don't even think it had gears. Like, it doesn't look like it has gears. It looks just like a, a, a pedal bike with, I don't see a basket in front, but that's what I'm saying. So there's something about moving forward. Moving forward and knowing, again, like if you had happiness and joy at one time um, and you've been lacking it for a while, that there's been this loss in whatever area, you can get it back, just like if you've never, if you've ridden, a, you haven't ridden a bike for 20 years. Sure, you might kind of fall and not have great balance to start, but you'll get back on it. Okay, so very, very, very powerful. Even next, we have um, issues. So I'm going to read that. <clears throat> you know, often spirit talks to me through the bottom of the deck, of the decks. Identify and face your issues. Yes, it may feel uncomfortable at first. That's why strength is here. But how many times do you wish to travel down the same road? Current issues that you have been working on are being resolved. Other forces are at work here. Take your time and know that all of the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle will slot in eventually. Two beautiful messages for you, Sag. Okay, let's see if there's anything else that Spirit has for you. All right, thank you so much, my Spirit guides. I love you. Is there any other final message for Saggy? that you would like them to have. My deck just went a little crazy there. Okay, show me clearly, please. Any other message? Simplicity just popped out. Okay, consideration is on the bottom. All right, so we have simplicity. Simplify your goals, unclutter your life. Surround yourself with the ease of straightforward living and being. No mountains out of molehills needed here. Just tell it like it is. Be sincere and clear in your dealings with people and you will be rewarded with trust, recognition, and honor. So keeping it simple, really, and not getting all clouded with everything that happened in the past and everything that's going, do you know, and I know it's not easy, but that's why they always say we need to be in the now, right? Because we can't do anything about the past. We can't really even know exactly what's in the future we have to be in our in the present okay so finally Saji, i will close your reading off i will read the bottom it says consideration pay attention and let nothing move past without your examination 
Be reflective and do not make any hasty decisions. Many special moments are unfolding for your attention. If you carefully look at what has brought you to this now moment, did I just not talk about now? Um, you will see how much of your yourself deserves your loving consideration. All right, that is where we're going to close your reading off, um, Satch. I almost called you Spirit. Um, I hope it helped in some way. I found this a very beautiful message. It's even inspired me. Um, so I thank my guides and my angels. All right, Saggy, we're going to leave it here. I send you so much love as always. I hope you do. You're doing well. Best wishes to you. Take great care of yourself. Big, big hugs as always and big kisses. All my love to you, Sag. Until next time.